Welcome to warrenalford.com. I'm glad you're here. This is your source for quality management information. Process Improvement Tools FEMA Failure Mode and Effects Analysis It starts with potential problems and looks for resulting bad effects. It also examines ways in which a product or a system failure may occur. The DMAIC, which is a Six Sigma term. Plan, do, check, and act, PDCA. It's helpful to think of every activity and every job as being part of a process. Demings, plan, do, study, and act. Study is observe the effects of the change. Both PDCA and PDSA are helpful. Then we have the root cause analysis, which most chronic problems cannot be solved by simple troubleshooting. So this is where you put it together and you get down to what really causes the problem, the root cause. If you can cure the root cause, you can probably take care of the problem. And then there is standardizing corrective actions, is the act of identifying the other systems or processes with similar nonconformance problems and applying the same corrective actions. Statistical Process Control, SPC, process which is in statistical control is characterized by plot points that do not exceed the upper and lower control units. When a process is in control, it's predictable. An attribute chart plots the characteristics such as short, tall, fat, thin, blue, brown, pass, fail, and things like that. The attributes are discrete counted data. Unlike variable charts, only one chart is plotted for attributes. There are four types of attribute charts. There's a p-chart, which is a fraction defective, an mp, which is number defective, a c-chart, which is the number of defectives, and a u-chart, which is the number of defectives per unit. And there's a, also a 100p, which is the percent defectives as well. The definition of re-engineering is the fundamental rethinking and redesign of operating processes and structure focused on the organization's core competencies to achieve dramatic improvements in organization performance. Also, Hammer defines it as fundamental rethinking and radical redesign of business processes which improve cost, quality, service, and speed. Now we'll take a look at innovative and creative tools. We have innovation, creativity, brainstorming, the classic creative exercise. We have the TRIZ, or T-R-I-Z method, Russian for the theory of inventive problem solving. We have lateral thinking, used to help the thinker produce new ideas, new concepts. Lateral thinking refers to a collection of creative thinking techniques and methods. And then six thinking hats for use in group meetings. The concept is to separate the thinking process involving emotions, logic, information, hope, control, and creativity. It encourages people to assume different roles. That is, individuals who are negative in a meeting can be asked to switch their thinking or change hats from critical to informational. There's a white hat, which is pure fact, red hat, emotion, Black hat is the devil's advocate. Yellow hat is optimistic. Green hat is signal for creativity. And a blue hat is an indication of control of meeting. There's a failure mode effects analysis and criticality analysis. There is DFSS, designed for Six Sigma. It's a systematic design process. Design for X or DFX is defined as a knowledge-based approach for designing products to have as many desirable characteristics as possible. Axiomatic design is a design methodology that seeks to reduce the complexity of the design process. It accomplishes this by providing a framework of principles that guide the designer or the engineer. Systematic design is a step-by-step -step approach to design. It provides a structure to the design process using a German methodology. The Poe, P-U-G-H, concept uh, was developed by Stuart Poe. His work provided a methodology for product conception and generation. It suggests a cross-functional team activity to assist in the development of improved concepts. Next, we have quality cost categories. Prevention costs. The cost of activities specifically designed to prevent poor quality. 
Appraisal costs. Measuring, evaluating, and auditing. Failure costs. The cost resulting from products or services not conforming to the requirement. Internal failure cost, which fails inside the company, and external fails when it meets the customer. Some authorities contend that each dollar spent on prevention will save $7 in failure cost. Lean manufacturing terms. Muda, something that creates no value or is waste. Pokeyoke, mistake proofing a device or a procedure to prevent the defect or error. 5S, or the housekeeping workplace organization mandates that resources be provided in the required location and be available to support work activities. Kaizen means continuous improvement, usually affects everyone in the organization. Kanban, which is Japanese for sign, a signal to internal process to provide some product, usually cards or flags or spaces on the floor. The theory of constraints developed by Goldratt deals with bottlenecking in processes. Capacity is equal to or less than the demand placed on it. Constraint management could be described as removing the bottlenecks in a process that limits through flow. Another simple tool for problem solving and constraint removal is the cause and effect diagram. This tool looks at six dimensions, man, machine, method, materials, measurement, and environment.